Hey YouTube, we're doing an unboxing of the iPhone 5C today. Um, yeah, here's the box it comes in. You guys know that I have the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is a great phone. I gotta say, that's my probably my favorite phone I've ever had. Best one. I guess this thing is where we unbox it. Let the unboxing begin. Um, crap. How am I supposed to get that? Give me one second. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep that phone just for like Flappy Bird and stuff, because you know, Flappy Bird is like no longer available. I might keep it for certain reasons. Keep it for music probably. Because I don't know if I'm gonna have to rebuild all my music since there's no SD card slot. Oh, this is the um, 32 gig gigabyte model by the way. I just checked on the back. I didn't even know it was the 32 gig until I just got it. Um, okay. Here's the phone itself. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Here's some instructions. Um, here's the USB wall adapter. You just plug it into your wall. This is the um, lightning cable. This is, does not take micro USB like the Samsung Galaxy S3 does. And it comes with a pair of Apple EarPods. Um, these things are really cool. I've used them before. They're really nice earbuds. I have I have headphones. But yeah, this is the lightning connector. I've never really used a lightning connector before. Give me a second, guys. My apologies. The lightning connector. And it just comes right apart. Right there comes apart, um, yeah, see, is the lightning cable, I can't really focus, I'm using my tablet to make this video, it's very nice, um, I'd have to say, I like the white color, like on everything, here's the USB wall adapter, and here's a look, quick look at the Apple EarPods, there's a little protective thingy that comes in, I like the, I like the case, it's really nice. I've never really had an iPhone before, so bear with me again. So here's the ear pods. I'm going to keep them in their case for now. What I do like about it What I like about the ear pods is that here's the um that's the inline remote. It'll actually work with this phone. Like you know how inline remotes don't usually work they usually don't work with Android devices, like my Galaxy S3. Uh, my friend has a pair of Beats. I try to use the inline remote. It never works because hmm, I, I never I forgot I never saw this. It says hello. Thank you. Um, I Apple's usually really nice about this stuff. Um, I'm gonna check out the instructions really quick. Um, here's iPhone 5. Here's a couple of manuals. Here's a couple of stickers. Uh, didn't notice the stickers that came with. I'm gonna use those eventually. Here's the thing. It says ring. Here's some info, warranty information right there, and right here is here's the it shows where the silent switch and stuff is. Tells you where everything is. I've never used an iPhone. I've never had an iPhone before, but I'm pretty excited to use this. This is the green color. This is the iPhone 5C in green. Um, should I get a case for this? Um, I don't know if they should or not, because I know iPhones are very fragile. Some people will probably think I'm a hypocrite for, um, getting an iPhone, but I just want to, I never had an iPhone before. I want to try it out. I, I've been, if you don't know me, I'm really, like, I've said some crap about Apple in the past, saying how their phones are fragile and everything, but I, I've never really had one for myself, um, but now I do. Uh, I'll have this activated. I'll show you guys in another video how this thing works and how everything is like how everything is. How if I like it, I'll tell you guys if I like it or not. I'll tell you guys if I should recommend it. Um, so see you guys in my next video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.